stop. It is hard, it's supposed to be hard. Uh, we're training them to, to be soldiers at the end of the day. Boots, kit, wet, muddy, heavy. Rain or shine, hot or cold, the snow's out, we need to break the ice on the tank. We're out here, no matter what. This is the bottom field where recruits have to complete four tests as part of their Royal Marine training. A 30-foot rope climb, an assault course in under five minutes, a 200-metre person carry in 90 seconds, and a regain. In addition, all will have to be done carrying 21 pounds in weight and a rifle. First thing they'll do um, will be uh, a 30 foot rope climb. That will sort of begin their, their assessment period um, as soon as they're at the top. They'll have both hands at the top screaming out their name. As soon as they're there, they'll be brought straight down. So they sort of simulate um, things that they might you might come across uh, during a battlefield. So you've got things like walls, uh, gates, you've got the monkey bars, you've got tunnels and scramble nets that are nice and low crawling through, uh, and then going over a 12 foot wall uh, using ropes, etc. You've got the fireman carry, which obviously simulates uh, a casualty extraction on a battlefield, okay? So we're bringing him out, charging him down the line, wherever we need to get him to, out of that harm's way. Um, so we're sort of trying to keep the reality. That's probably the most pertinent part in our job. Um, obviously, if you have a casualty, you do need to get them out. A fireman carry is an efficient and effective way of getting them out. So that timed 200 metre sprint with that person on their back simulates nicely how they would have to move to get a casualty out. So essentially what they're doing is they're traversing across the rope um, and it simulates that they'll come off the rope and they'll fully hang off the rope and it's just a way that they will then uh, bring their body back on the rope, hooking essentially their arm round, manoeuvring their body so that they rotate and end up back on top of the rope as they were when they started. Then they'll re regain their feet and hands in the position they were and then carry on traversing across that rope. But potentially if they're moving uh, from point A to point B along a rope and they're coming on and crawling themselves along, um, and they do come off and underneath the rope, it's just the means of which they can get back off without obviously falling off no matter how high that rope may be. Preparation for the bottom field test usually begins in week 12 of recruit training, increasing the weight that's carried, refining techniques and building up endurance over time. And they have to pass the test between week 16 and 20. But of course, even after this has been completed, there's still a long way to go until the recruits become fully fledged Royal Marine Commandos. Bryony Williams, Forces News, Commando Training Centre, Limston. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.